New developments on the situation at the border. Homeland Security officials say they will fly hundreds of migrants to several cities across the U.S. in an attempt to ease overcrowding at border processing centers. Jeff Paul is live from our West Coast newsroom with the latest on this. Jeff. All right, Phil, the plans are still developing, but some law enforcement officials in South Florida say they've been notified they could start receiving migrants. Sheriffs in Broward and Palm Beach County say Border Patrol notified them their communities could see up to 1,000 migrants per month in two weeks. Citing strapped resources and overcrowding at shelters, border officials might end up flying migrant families away from the southern border. They'd be flown into cities across the country as they wait for their immigration court hearings. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is a vocal supporter of President Trump, is against the move, and he says he's going to have a talk with the president. We cannot accommodate in Florida um, just dumping unlawful migrants um, into our state. I think it'll tax our, our resources, the schools, the health care, law enforcement, state agencies. Other politicians in states that aren't along the southern border are a little more open to the idea. Missouri Congressman Emanuel Cleaver is on the House Homeland Security Committee. Speaking to Fox News earlier today, Cleaver says he's not against migrants coming into his community, but there needs to be a specific plan before that happens. I think Kansas City and, and many other city, uh, cities would be welcoming. I certainly would be, personally, and would use whatever influence I had to, to create an, a welcoming environment. I'm not sure that without a strategy and without knowing, you know, uh, in a, uh, you know, sometime in advance for preparation, that we're going to be of an advantage to them. The interim Border Patrol sector chief in San Diego says right now migrants are being flown into his location from Texas. But he added CBP is still considering whether or not to add flights that could include the Detroit, Buffalo and Miami area. All right, Jeff Paul, thank you very much.